Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to cover Grayscale Gorilla, their Plus Library. I'm going to go through the materials that they offer, as well as the different objects that you're able to use. So I'm going to show you as an example uh, a scene that I created using some of their library assets. And so in this video I'm going to walk you through the different features of the Plus Library, the Grayscale Gorilla, and just show you how you know you can start to use some of these materials for yourself and some of these assets so that you can create you know, a 3D scene, add different kind of textures to your objects, and just some of the features that are offered by the Plus Library. So I'm in Cinema 4D here, and what I have set up here is uh, a scene involving different sorts of um, Grayscale Gorilla library assets that I'm going to kind of run through and explain to you you know how you can kind of set up a similar scene for yourself. The first thing you're going to do is I'm going to um, assume that you're going to have already installed Grayscale Gorilla on your machine but once that's done you're going to see Grayscale Gorilla in the menu here and what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to go first into Grayscale Gorilla Hub and here you're going to find all your different uh, plugins, assets, your download quad and your installed assets. So in terms of um, downloading them, you're gonna go into your stock assets. And in my situation, I have Redship. So what I've done is I've installed all the different materials uh, in terms of my uh, Redship materials. And which you're gonna then, you'll find all your assets then in your install folder once they're all downloaded. What you're gonna do is you're also gonna click, uh, you wanna ensure the download folder is set up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into Cinema 4D in the preference, and then you're going to go into Grayscale Gorilla here, and you're going to set, you know, your asset folder. And once you've done that, all your assets will be downloaded. And then what I've done is, what you want to do is you want to set up your library. So you, by clicking here, the plus library, it's, it'll open up and in a window. But what I've done is I've docked it into my Cinema 4D. So I always have it here at the bottom. And so what I'm gonna do now is gonna run you through the different uh, sections of the Grayscale Gorilla library, the Library Plus. So as you see here, there's all the different kinds of materials. This is the first section. I'm gonna skip over HDRs today and textures as well as Kobo's bokeh user HDIs. And today I'm just gonna focus on materials and models. Now the first thing to, to show you is the materials. So Grayskill Gorilla offers a variety of different uh, materials and the first few are more to do with colors and you know, different kinds of paints. There's also clay and this is relatively new to um, Grayskill Gorilla is the clay. You also have um, different sorts of um, materials in terms of metals and and then another cool section is the neon colors that you can use. You have paper, powdered material, different sorts of plastics, different sorts of tech products uh, materials. This is something I often use, including you know all the different types of gold and the different kind of glass, tech glass. And then you know there's also these kind of cool looking um, uh, materials as well. And also wood, and this is, there's unfinished wood, and then there's this other wood section. So that is the material section. And what you can simply do is when you select a object in your scene, let's say here are the books, right? Let's say that, um, well, first actually I'm gonna show you the models, and then we'll talk about how to, to add uh, the different materials to your models. So uh, a new feature of uh, Grayscale Gorilla is the ability to create objects. So they, they provide you now with the objects. Uh, they call them doodads and everyday models is the two main sections. You have all these sorts of different um, objects now. And these are editable. So let's just say you're going to add this to your scene, right? So we'll add the tours and it shows up, I guess over here. So yeah, you have all these different objects. And you also then have everyday objects, which is, you know, the chair here, the coffee cup, the books, the table, and this lamp here. And also these pillows are all from this everyday models. 
And then what I've done here is I just added some writing. You also have neon letters as well. So let's just look at the table here. So the coffee table, you can see the top, the shelf, the bridge, and the legs. So in this case, I added wood to the tops and to the bottom here and also the metal to the uh, legs of the table. And as you can see here, you know, the wood here and the metal is on um, the uh, legs of the, and then I did this similar to the chair as I added wood to the chair and then metal to the legs. And similar to the lamp, I added uh, metal to the lamp and then also to a material to uh, the lamp uh, top part. This is how you can use Grayscale Gorilla's uh, models and materials. There's a lot to explore in terms of all the different types of materials. This video, I just wanted to give you a general overview of the different types of things you can expect in the library. Uh, but um, yeah, and you know, you can definitely model these even more. Like you can customize each of the models. Uh, they're likely, you know, can be used just really as a head start. They don't have to just be used uh, as is. Uh, but you can then sculpt and shape the object uh, you know, using the, you know, the modeling tools that uh, Cinema 4D provides. So I hope this video was helpful. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.